وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى I wanted to share a benefit with you all إن شاء الله تعالى and that is how does one really know that he loves the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم and what shows that you truly love the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام because loving the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم falls under the muqtada what is necessitated from when you say وَأَشَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهِ when a person says وَأَشَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهِ that I testify and I bear witness that Muhammad is a messenger sent from Allah what comes under that is that you love him عليه الصلاة والسلام but what is the thing that shows and proves that you love the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم inshallah ta'ala I'm going to mention six things that are an indication and an evidence to show that an individual loves the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first thing is ittiba'u sunnatihi. The person will be found to follow the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as sunnah. And they will hold on to wa tamasuk bi hadihi. The person will hold on to the Prophet's sunnah and they will also follow his guidance alayhi salatu wa sallam. Allah says in the Quran, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبُبُكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ وَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ That if you truly love Allah Azza wa Jalla, you are one who is what? You are an individual who uh, follows the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you love Allah Azza wa Jalla, you follow the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ Follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The second thing that shows that a person is in love with the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam is al-ikhtaru min dhikrihi the person will talk about the Prophet excessively and they will mention the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam a lot wa mahabbatu ru'yati and the person would be in love of seeing the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam and Imam Muslim rahimahullah he narrated in his sahih that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam he said min ashaddi ummati li hubba نَاسٌ يَكُونُونَ بَعْدِي يَوَدُّ أَحَدُهُمْ لَوْ رَآنِي بِهَلِهِ وَمَالِهِ The Prophet ﷺ said in this hadith that the people who loved me the most are a people who will sacrifice their wealth and their family in order to see me. That if their family will be destroyed and they will lose their wealth just to see me, not to spend time with me, not to be my companions and my followers, no, just to see me. Just to see me. And that's it. They lose their wealth and they lose their money and their children and everything. They just, they, they, they would want that. Just to see Nabi Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the Prophet said, these are the people who love me the most. So this second uh, thing, which is to want to see him that much, is an indication that you love him alayhi salatu wasalam. Number three is a ta'allumu, learning the Qur'an and implementing the Qur'an and coming with the etiquettes that will be found in the Qur'an to implement it. This is an indication that you love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَلِذَلِكَ The noble companion, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he said, لَا يَسْأَلْ أَحَدٌ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ That one does not ask about himself. One should not ask about himself and where he is except that he should look. So don't ask yourself, if you love the Prophet Sallallahu don't ask if you love the Prophet Sallallahu But he said, فَإِنْ كَانَ يُحِبُّ الْقُرْآنَ But if you love the Qur'an, فَيُحِبُّ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ فَهُوَ يُحِبُّ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ Then you love Allah and His Messenger. And Imam Al-Bayhaqi narrated this in his Kitab, Kitab Al-Adab. The fourth thing that indicates that a person loves the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is, you love the people in which he loves and you hate the people in which he hates. The Prophet said in Hadith Sahih Muslim, uh, Hadith Sahih Sahihain, Bukhari and Muslim, 
ayatul iman, the sign of iman is what? Hubbul ansar, loving ansar. Wa ayatul nifaq, bughdul ansar. And the sign of faith and belief is what? Uh, the, the, uh, the, sorry, the sign of faith is to love ansar. And the sign of hypocrisy is to what? It is to hate ansar. This is an indication that the person, he does not love Allah and his messenger. He's a munafiq. The fifth is al hadharu min al To stay away from going overboard with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and placing him in a station that he didn't place himself. Hadith Ali ibn Abi Talib mentions that the Prophet has said, Ya ayyuhal nasu, O people, la tarfa'uni fawqa qadri. That the Prophet has said, Do not take me beyond my station. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ اتَّخَذِنِي عَبْدًا قَبْلَ أَنْ يَتَّخِذِنِي نَبِيًّا Allah has made me a slave before he even made me a what? Before he had made me a prophet. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ, he says, إِنَّمَا أَنَا عَبْدٌ I am only a slave. فَقُولُوا عَبْدُ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُهُ Just say about me, the slave of Allah and the messenger of Allah. So if a person takes the Prophet ﷺ below the station of being a prophet, they take them below that station. <coughs> They don't love the Prophet ﷺ. And any person who takes the Prophet ﷺ beyond the station of being a slave and gives him the characteristics of uluhiyyah, this person doesn't also what? Love the Messenger ﷺ. Last but not least, al hadaru min al-bid'i wal bu'du an al ahwa The sixth thing is, stay away from innovation. Stay away from your whims and desires. If you do that, you love the Prophet ﷺ. ولذلك عبد الله بن مسعود he said in the hadith الإمام الدارمي narrated اتبعوا ولا تبتدعوا فقد كفيتم follow and do not innovate you've been sufficed and also Abu Bakr رضي الله تعالى عنه he said in the hadith narrated by Ibn Sa'ad in his tabaqat إنما أنا متبع Abu Bakr said I am a follower ولست بمبتدع and I am not an innovator فإن استقمت فتابعوني Abu Bakr said if I'm upright and I'm steadfast then follow me in that and if I deviate from that path, فَقَوِّمُونِي then correct me. Abu Bakr said that. But what did he start his speech with? إِنَّمَا أَنَا مُتَّبِعَ I am what? I am a follower and I am not an innovator. I am not one who's, who introduces. These six that I mentioned, the first one being التَّمَسُّكُ أَمْ إِتِّبَاعِ سُنَّتِهِ Follow his sunnah. وَالتَّمَسُّكُ بِهَدِي And holding on to his guidance is the first characteristics that indicates that the person loved the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam. The second one is al iktharu min dhikrihi wa mahabbati ru'yatihi speaking about, speaking about him a lot and also loving to want to meet him. The third one is learning the Qur'an and implementing the Qur'an and coming with the manners and the things that are in the Qur'an. Number four is loving those people in which the Prophet Sallallahu loved and hating those people in which the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hates. Five, it's to stay away from extremism and taking the Prophet ﷺ beyond his station that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala placed him in. Number six is to stay away from innovation and whims and desires. Anyone who comes with those six, it's an indication and a proof that your claim of loving the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam is true and you do really love him. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his Messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illallah. استغفرك واتوب لي